I'm Kate Lamers. I'm a landscape architect with the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board, and we are standing on the site of the Waterworks Park Project, which is a park development project on the west bank of the Mississippi River in downtown Minneapolis. More recently, this history is often known as kind of the birthplace of the modern city of Minneapolis. This was where many of the mills were located. Uh, many of these mills formed the industry that formed much of the modern city. After being the site of mills and industry, became sort of the center of the new downtown as we know it now. We know that there's a tremendous amount of history in the area, but oftentimes what is most visible here is the milling history, the industrial history. We did a deeper search for the more hidden histories of underrepresented communities whose stories often don't get told. This has been a gathering place for a long time. Many different cultures would often meet on the river and around the falls, and so we wanted to make sure that we were telling deeper stories at this site. One of the unique aspects of the Waterworks Project is that this is really a place where almost everybody in the city intersects and comes to at some point or another. It's become one of the most highly visited areas. So we saw it as a project that was partly for the residents who live in downtown, but we really wanted to try to make sure that it was a place that everybody could enjoy. Different cultures, different backgrounds, different ages, different abilities. We really wanted this project to work for everyone. I am Jean Garbrini. I'm the lead landscape architect for the Waterworks Project. The site had to be designed with an incredible amount of flexibility. We wanted to make sure that it was a very welcoming site, a very open site, a visually connected site, and we wanted to think about how it might be used for programming, large groups, small groups, um, to find quiet space, places to just watch the river and watch the theater of the city. On the north end, we would have a nature play area and probably kind of a quieter lawn area that people would hopefully be playing and picnicking. We would have some music and some education going on on the city steps. The upper Columbia Terrace will be sort of a secondary place to support the restaurant. So you'll be able to eat out in the Columbia Terrace. It'll also serve as a, a function for private dining when there's a private event happening. And it's also one of the best places to see the falls. At the Waterworks Project, there was the opportunity to create an innovative rainwater reuse system that will provide up to a million gallons of rainwater for the site's irrigation and toilet flushing each year. The Park Board anticipates that this is about 30 to 40 percent of the water needed for these purposes. The new building is kind of interwoven in with the old building. We ultimately made the decision to reuse the existing mill walls. When you walk in, there's kind of a large open air area with a lobby, and if you go up the stairs, that is where the main restaurant area is. The Parks Foundation has really helped and supported the vision and they provided not only the bulk of the funding, but also a lot of staff support and expertise. They've been very much champions and advocates of the project and have given the Park Board a lot of support. I don't really know where this project would have gone without their support. And as a resident of Minneapolis, I'm really grateful to have this organization supporting our Minneapolis parks.